Hi, this is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. Hey, hey guys, today we're going to talk about my favorite subject today, which is sales. All right, we got a great subject for today, and I think it's very entertaining. So let's go ahead and get to it. What's our topic for today? Our topic for today is, if you don't know, don't lie and make up crap. Okay, that's a real simple one. And I've been in sales for a long time, and I've seen some people make up some crap. <laughs> and I've seen some people not tell, always tell the truth. Now, I learned a long time ago, it's better to be honest with a person and tell them you don't know something. And the reason why I stress that is, is because if they already know the answer, you look pretty stupid. And we're salespeople. We don't want to look stupid. We want to look polished and qualified. So if you don't know something... You're going to have to ask somebody who does, okay? It's just that simple. First off, if a customer asks you a question, you don't know the answer to it. It could be a ruse. It could be just to get you off track so they can go, you know, do something else. But you can always say this, hey, look, you know, that's a really great question. Let me go ahead and write that down, and I will make sure that we get that answer. And then you go back to your script. You go back to your process and continue selling. Because if it is a major obstacle for the customer, it behooves you to find out. Now, if it's just a smoke screen for the customer, a lot of times they'll even forget all about it after a few minutes of just continuously asking other pertinent questions. You can always ask them, is that what makes you, makes sense to you? You want to go ahead and that's why you want to buy it? Um, your question, that's talking about the question that they may ask you, you know, that's kind of like got you off track a second. Listen, people that ask questions, a lot of time they want to buy stuff. They just need somebody to help them buy it. <laughs> and that's what we do. We're salespeople. We're important and we matter. Remember this. At first, when you're first starting to sell, you're not polished yet. You've been doing it for just a little while. You're learning your scripts. You're learning your conversation. You're learning your product. So don't beat yourself up, especially if you're, you're saying, well, you're comparing yourself to somebody who's been doing it for a while. That's just not fair. What you have to do is be the best that you can be. And you're researching and you're looking for information on how to be successful. Well, you're in the right place. My name is Gary Lee Stanley. You know, I'm a real salesman. I've gone through the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I share this with everyone. You know, selling is not just being making billions and trillions of money. I mean, it's great to get all your money. But then you got to live the life of a salesperson. You've got to go through the process of a salesperson. You've got things that go on in your life that a lot of people don't have to deal with because you're running your own business. You are a salesperson. You got to create business. You got to buy leads. You got to just jump through a lot of hoops to be successful. And remember, your character is important and people are watching you. So if you're giving bad advice or bad information because you don't know, okay, well, you need to learn. That's important. We're salespeople. We're always growing. We're always learning. And if you're not, well, you're ripe and you're rotting, so enjoy your life. Most of the people that I talk to, <laughs> and that's you, okay? You're a salesperson. We're important and we matter. We need to be truthful people, okay? Not every day is going to be a great day, but if we can make it that way, let's go ahead and give it a shot. It makes sense. And if we can make our customers happy, that's even better. Because if they're happy, they're more inclined to give us referrals, and then they'll be more inclined to help us to be successful in selling. It's a process. It doesn't happen overnight unless you get lucky. And if you get lucky, that's real good. But most salespeople, we have to go through a learning curve, a process. We have to learn our job. And I've noticed that people who stick and stay in a, a particular business for two or three years or more, that's when they start making the big bucks. They start to see that, hey, I can make some money. I ain't talking about the ones who on occasion make a sale. I'm talking about the ones who stick and stay that are already making money. They kind of figured it out. And they didn't figure it out by lying to people. They didn't figure it out by telling the untruth. And they damn sure didn't figure it out by just making up stuff. You've got creative people around you. You're a salesperson, okay? Get a, get a booklet and a book, you know, uh, with some pages in it. And start writing down notes and bullet points when customers ask you questions. Especially these questions that you may not know the answer to. And always, look, it makes you look not incompetent to say, I don't know. Matter of fact, for most people, it makes you seem real. Because, see, look, people want to buy from people they know that are, that are, 
that are kind of like nice to them. They're not wanting a bunch of buttholes to treat them with disrespect. They don't want assholes. They want good quality people to help them to buy stuff and to be successful. So we can't just go around haphazardly making up stuff. You know, you don't lie. You don't make up stuff. You don't, uh, I don't know about you. When I go to buy something, I don't want somebody to make up some stuff just to make me buy it. Man, you might be that kind of weird person that does that. And if you do, you're not looking to stay in sales for a long time. I mean, you better be real careful because when you hook and crook and you take advantage of people, it comes back to you. It just really does. Okay, I bet you. I guarantee it. But if you do right by the customer and you tell them, look, I mean, Miss Morgan, I really appreciate you asking that question. That's a really tough one, you know, and I pride myself on knowing a lot of the answers. But I really at this point can't say that I do. So let me go ahead and write this down because I know how important it is to you. Oh, and by the way, you know, the next and, and you know, and you've been living in Jacksonville for how long? You've been doing. Oh, OK. So what you do is you get back on track. You just go back to your script. Again, I told you, sometimes it's a ruse. And if it's really, really important and they keep pushing and pushing on that point, well, then you might want to ask somebody really, really quick. And listen, if they're asking, they're probably wanting that answer. So if you get that information and you don't sell them them there, that's a leeway and a walkway right through up to the, the next opportunity when you talk to them. Oh, I got that information. I know you were looking for it. And they'll say, what information? Because they don't forgot what they asked. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Selling is a lot of fun. But what I like about it is that it's always something different. Every sale is the same, you know, but every sale is different because you got different personalities. And remember, customers are so used to being treated badly because they've had it over the years, over and over and over. Customers are so, uh, they're so used to people talking disrespectfully to them and not even giving a crap. So if you're that kind of salesperson or customer service person that's taking in this new customer, give them their 15 minutes of fame, treat them with the, 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 the respect they deserve. And remember, you know, asking questions from a customer is great. Okay, if they're asking, they're interested. All you gotta do is figure out how to just close the sale. And my name is Gary Lee Stanley. We just had a very simple conversation about why you don't wanna bull crap your customers, why you don't wanna lie, well, I don't know why you don't want to act like you're a perfect expert, but what you do want to do is become an expert. I didn't say know everything about yourself. You need to know those most important key things that are going to make the customer go, oh, okay, I think I'd like to buy that. But you got to figure out how to help them get it because you got to make that first 14, 15 seconds count. Get excited. Be a happy salesperson. Smile often. Smile. Keep on smiling. Keep on smiling. That's my mantra. And listen, we're important and we matter. What we say to our customers really matters. We don't want to disrespect them and lie to them. And then down the road, we lose a good sale or we lose a big sale because we didn't know an answer. <laughs> it's like, you know, if you're going to tell somebody a story, make sure you know the ending. Make sure you know what's in the book. You don't just create your own. Unless, you know, you're trying to be creative. Okay. <laughs> My name is Gary Lee Stanley. We just had a very simple conversation about selling, how to be honest with your customers if you don't know something. It's just that important. Be honest. Customers understand you ain't perfect. Oh my goodness. If you ain't perfect, neither am I. So do yourself a favor. Go out there and sell something and don't forget to ask for the order. And listen, if you don't know something, don't pretend. You know, I mean, if you're new, you ain't going to know a whole lot. But you know a lot more than that customer does right then and there. And if you can have a conversation with that customer, you've already sold it. And you ain't going to sell everybody. It's a numbers game. But if we are kind to our customers, if we are honest with our customers, and we don't bullshit our customers, they'll be inclined to buy from us. So don't be afraid to ask for the order. And if you don't know something, hmm, what do you do? You confess it. You say, well, Nick, that's a great question, but I don't know the answer. Let me find out. And just keep on selling. Close the sale. You may close the sale and not even get the answer for them. That's really good selling because, you know, that was a ruse. But always in the back of your mind, you've got your piece of paper with this question that they asked. It makes sense to maybe put that in your brain 
and file it away for later when you go to sell something because somebody else may ask that same pertinent question. So my simple job to you is to make sure that you ask for the order, <laughs> have a good time while you're selling, and smile often with your customers, and just remember, don't bull crap them or bullshit them, however you want to say it, because customers like honesty. And look, you don't want it to come back and bite you in the butt if you don't know something. Dang, the more I learn, the more I keep going, dang, I need to learn some more. So do me a favor, go out there and sell something, ask for the order, and don't be afraid if you don't know the answer. Because remember, you can always ask somebody, and if it's that important, you can get the answer. Jeez, Louise, we got Google, we got all kinds of opportunities and people that are around it that wants us to be successful. So go out there and sell something. My name is Gary Lee. We just had a good conversation about why it's so important that you are honest when a customer asks a question and you don't know. Okay, go out there and sell something. Bye-bye.